I am, uh, I, this is one award ceremony I've done. I haven't done one before. This is my, the one I'm doing, the only one in my life. And uh, I feel I am independence. Well, I'm not in, you know, I've got independence. I am a transvestite with a career. And uh, so independence is tattooed on my spine. Thank you. 12 people. So tonight, you're all here. You're still listening. That's good. Um, tonight is about love and envy. And because uh, so, as artists, we are all damaged people, and people do need love. The winners, you will feel love tonight. Uh, the award is an extra bit of love, and that's great. And the winners go from here to another room. You always know they get taken away to uh, an orgy room, uh, which is the press room. You can have sex in the press room. Uh, Acura have sponsored the orgy room. Uh, <laughs> and if you can have sex in the back of one of their cars tonight, you win a car. That is, they're just doing it. So the non-winners, you're not losers because you're nominated, and nomination plus time equals win, if you know that, if you tell your publicist that, it does work. They're just People go, oh, you won that award back then. You didn't fucking win it, but you did. But so uh, you will probably feel envy. Envy is good. Greed, greed, not good, but envy is good. It drives you forward, and tomorrow, you people who are not winners, you'll be up in the morning. The winners, they'll be dead in a car park somewhere, but you'll be up. You'll be up and you'll be at the typewriter and you'll be writing and you'll write something that's shit probably because you're not a writer, you're probably an actor. But <laughs> still, you'll write and, and ah, it's got, and may, most award shows admittedly do have love and envy. But here at the Independent Experience Award, we have a little bit more because we're going to have shame and fear tonight. That's what we want to add to the proceedings. Shame. It's good. It deflects envy. People who are envious, if you can feel shameful, then they feel less envy. It's, uh, to be a great artist, I think you need humility. And if you win tonight, you will be a great artist. So you could at least show some fucking shame. <laughs> but I hear you ask, how do you get fear into an award show? Well, fear comes from new rules that we have here at the uh, Spirit Awards. Once you've won your award, you haven't necessarily won the award. One of the other nominees can still win the award if they can kill you. <laughs> this sounds a little bit scary, it's a little bit edgy, but uh, winners, don't worry. What you need to defend yourself is a weapon tonight, and this is a fucking weapon. Um, no good award is an award if it isn't a weapon. And this thing is dangerous. You can, uh, it should appear in Murder, She Wrote, Murder, She Can Wrote, you know, it's one of those things. It's heavy, it's got wings. If you stick it in someone, you can't pull it out. It's like one of those hooks. <laughs> you could get a Marlin. It's just feel it. If you win, you'll know. If you nominate it, you won't know this, but it's good. So, uh, challenges, if you're nominated, you have to use other weapons, and those are on the table. Anything on the table you can use to kill one of the winners tonight. I'm serious about this. I really don't mind. It's, obviously, I'm not going to prison. I have lost them, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, by the end of the night, maybe envy will defeat love, blood will be shed, and the last person standing gets a gift back. So thank you. That is a very lovely round of applause because you're going, I don't, you don't know why you're applauding. I just finished talking. Excellent. But we're going to get on with it. We're going to give this stuff out. This one. No, I'm keeping this one. Uh, so uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm gonna